Hi, today I wanted to talk about the 10 uh, top frugal budget ideas to save at home. Um, these are just for our family, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit because there's so many things that you can do to save money at home. Okay, the first thing, as always, have a budget. Fix any small repairs and or anything you can do. If you can go out to thrift stores to get stuff for the house or try and see where you can save money on doing any of the stuff. I realize that a lot of it's too difficult, but if you can save on on repairs that you can do or that you can you can watch a YouTube channel to find out anything now. So if you can do that, that'd be saving you a ton. Number two, every penny counts, just like I said in one of my other videos. So call the utility companies, check, and see if um, you're on the best plan. I just did that, and I saved $6 a month. Okay, not a big deal, but I'll take your $6, because I could put it towards my mortgage payment. I mean, I don't care. I want If I want to get a burger at Carl's Jr., I'll use that $6, <laughs> so you're not going to take my $6. Uh, cut cable. There's tons of, I know that a lot of people have cable still and a lot of people have cut the cord. Um, we, where we live, we, we can use an antenna, so that's free. We bought the antenna for like 30 bucks at Walmart. Um, we get all the main channels and then we have Netflix because we love to watch stuff on Netflix. Uh, I don't buy books. I don't, I don't have any reason to buy books when I can get them from the library for free. There's a million things. I mean, my Apple phone has free books on it. I'm I'm a book reader, but I'm going to get them at the library. And if they don't have it, I'll move on to the next one because there's a million books out there. Even if you have to wait a little bit for the new release, you'll eventually get to read it. Um, we also get movies. We either get them off Amazon Prime, we have that, or we do Netflix movies, or we can get them at the library. All you do is just type it in and see if they have it, and then they put it on hold for me so I don't even have to dig through the, the movies. They're in alphabetical order, but I don't want to look through them. So if there's something, you know, at one time we, we went on um, top 100 movies of all time, and we just started and, and uh, we typed them in at the library during, I think we were during the pandemic, and we got a whole bunch of really good movies that we hadn't seen before. But we just picked through the top 100 movies, and that's how we chose them. Number three, put money away in separate accounts. So we have an account through our bank, and then we have multiple accounts. So one account automatically goes, we put away whatever we can. I know for us, we put away $500 a month every time we buy a car with cash, then that same month we take that, we start over and we do $500 a month for the next time we need a car because it adds up and even for, I mean, we have two teenagers, so we have four, we have four cars. So you, you have to save up, you have to be ready for, and that account is for if we need new tires or we need, you know, there's always expenses. Especially with newer cars, you have registration, and that costs a lot, and so on and so forth. Um, so you need to put you need to put an emergency fund away as well, but that should be in your main account, in my opinion. But you can have as many whatever you don't want to have it in your pocket. You want to hold on to it for as long as possible. Um, use everything up. I always joke if you've got makeup. You, there's always, you can put a tiny bit of water in there, shake it up. The bottom, your toothpaste, you can cut the end off and get, stick your toothbrush in there and get, well, f don't share your tooth, the rest of the toothpaste. I'm usually the one who does it. But you can stick your toothbrush in the toothpaste thing and have like two weeks more when it, you think it's completely gone. Pasta sauce, of course. Shake a little bit of water in there and pour it in there instead of throwing the pasta sauce away. You know, that kind of thing. You need to think about that when you're using up stuff. There's so much stuff still in the bottle. Um, number five, no impulse buying. I have actually gone to the store and I wanted these flip-flops. They were $20 and I wanted them so bad. And I was like, no, I didn't come here for flip-flops. I went home and if I said if I still wanted them the next day, I was going to go back in there and get them. And I still wanted them the next day, so I went back in there. I think they were Tommy Hilfiger or something. But they were... 
They were $20, I remember, and I went back the next day and I got them. And I felt good about the purchase because I had put thought into it. I didn't just buy it to buy stuff. I bought it because I truly needed flip-flops and I wanted those. Number six, um, I only use cold water in my washing machine um, if, if there's somebody been sick or something. I just mean in a normal in a normal day, I only use cold water. If someone's sick, yes, you want to use hot water. If I'm doing something that's really messy for whatever reason, yes, I use hot water. Um, don't overwash your clothes. You do not have to wear them for an hour and throw them in the washing machine. I hang them back up or I put them in a separate pile. I actually have a separate pile in my... Um, I keep a separate little area that I know that I've worn it before, but however you can do it in your home. Um, hang things out to dry if you're able to do it. We're not able to do it at our house, but I do hate hang things up in the in the laundry room that like big sweatshirts and stuff. You can just hang them on the hoodie, and you don't, I don't put them in the dryer. Um, use less detergent if you're not using the pods. You can totally at least cut down to three quarters of what it says because they just want you to buy more detergent. So you can definitely cut it there. Uh, number seven. A lot of people don't do this. But I rewash plastic Ziploc bags unless they have meat in them or um, it's gross. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to deal with that. But if I had cookies in them, I'm, I put it inside out. I wash it with my Dawn detergent and I set them over a glass and then they dry and I reuse them. There's a million reasons not to throw one away if you can reuse it. There's, You can even use it for... Um, different things if you don't want to put food in them for the second time but they're a good thing to have on hand even if they're second hand <laughs> even if i've used them twice number eight i always say adjust your thermostat and wear a sweatshirt you do not have to have 78 degrees in all year round if you can wear a sweatshirt and it's comfortable in the house put a sweatshirt on because you can save a ton or if you're hot you know what you can always take off your long sleeve shirt. <laughs> Anyways, just try and dress accordingly so that you can keep your, we keep our temperature about 68 and at night we just keep it at, I think it's on 58 at night. We're in the mountains. So we keep it on 68 during the day. It's cold today. It's in the forties and it's 68 in here. I don't even have a sweatshirt on. It's, I mean, I have one ready if I get cold, but all right. Number nine. Uh, buy used whenever possible or get clearance stuff. So with my teenagers, I say I will buy, one's 19, almost 20 in July, and then one is 16. And I say, if you need something, I can get it. I will pay for it at the thrift store. If it's jeans, if you need new shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, whatever, or on clearance at Walmart. If you want something particular, like expensive name brand whatever you're paying for it so it has to be at a good a good price and I think that's I think that's worked out so well for us because we don't have to deal with them what saying oh I only want the name brand if you do you know what you could do chores around here you you can make money around here because we can always use help or um, they do have jobs that they do and they do have extra money that they can do but they typically are like oh I need jeans I'm like okay I'll, I'll be looking out and then I just go on my phone and I, I'll uh, do like FaceTime with her and, and show her. And if she likes it, I'll buy it for her. I don't have a problem with that as long as it's a decent price. So that's how we do it in our house. And it's working out really well. They think twice before they buy something. And that's what's important to me. We're teaching our kids to spend their money wisely. Number 10, cut the cord. Now, I'm talking about your appliances. If if they have a light or a clock on them and you're and you have a spare bedroom, you're paying for electricity for that to be plugged in and no one's even in there. So if you can if you can unplug it while no one's staying in that room, I think why are you wasting? We have a spare bedroom, so we unplug the TV and we unplug the the um, the fan it doesn't have a thing but we just keep it unplugged it's safer anyways I mean there's no reason nobody goes in there most of the time so I think it's important that you look at every way that you can save money I'm just I was looking out my window and I I have scallions in a container and I just cut pieces off when I want scallions and I have a plant and <laughs> it's so pretty and it's 
and I use it and I just keep cutting it. I think I'm going to get an herb garden and keep it on the, because we get a lot of natural light. So any way that you can save money and have fun doing it. I mean, that's what's important. We want to save up for paying our house off in two years. We've only lived here two years, so we have like two more. We're trying to pay it like double so we can pay it off. And it's important. It's important to us so that my husband doesn't have to work hard. We can pay off our house. We don't we can go on vacations, we can go on cruises, we can go anywhere we want, but I don't I don't want to pay for having um, cable every day. We're having a blast. We went to thrift stores today. We went to one, went to two thrift stores today. We didn't buy anything and we had the best time. That doesn't mean we weren't going to buy anything, but we're not buying stuff just to buy it. We're looking to see if we can, if there's a way that we can save or if there's something that we find that we were out of or needed or we have specific things that we're looking for. We had a great time. We had so much fun spending it together, but we didn't spend one dime. So that's not what it's about. It's not about bringing stuff home to not use. We're trying to clean up and go through stuff and get, you know, decide what's important to us and what's not. and try not to have tons of stuff laying everywhere you know you know life but anyways so hope these ideas can help you there's always ways that you can save there's a million ways i'd love to hear in the comments if you have any more thanks for watching